Welcome to my show, Having Tips with a Dollar. I'm Elizabeth Rohr, and today I am with Steve Nadler and Chipsy Nuff. Oh, yeah. Chipsy Wibby. So. Stevie Wibby. Stevie Wibby and Chippy Wibby. And the baby. And the baby. And the baby. What a combination. I can kiss the baby. Aww. Then kick the baby. <laughs> okay, so, how young were you when you started being a musician? Me? I started, uh, I started, uh, playing drums when I was 11. Okay. Really? When I was 11 years old, I started, my first drums were, uh, my mom's Tupperware. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I started around the same age, actually, playing bongos and singing. Uh, yeah, I was definitely singing and playing bongos. My friends and we did new I was Tupperware. <laughs> we played Chatterbox and, you know, all uh, uh, okay. and... Sex Pistols, all punk stuff. I was playing Frankie yeah. Valley in four so seasons. That's what I guess for That's a lot smarter. <laughs> <laughs> so, what influences your musical style? Well, musically, I have a, a huge fan of Queen and Roger Taylor. Roger Meadows Taylor, excuse me, Roger Meadows Taylor <coughs> is my favorite of all the <coughs> So he's my biggest influence, and I said he's my biggest influence on the band, too. So. How about you? Exactly what you said. <laughs> Maybe not Roger Meadows Taylor, even though I love him to death. I just met him recently. He was a wonderful bloke on his birthday, as a matter of fact. Aren't they all dead? But I would say that... Hey, hey, favorite, hey! Favorite member, of course, of the best singer Mercury. in rock, which would be Freddie Mercury. I think he's still no one. From your vocalist of our time. So, what's your favorite band you're currently listening to right now? Well, this, this, uh, so far this tour just started out, and on this tour, I think we'll be listening to a lot of Ariel Speedwagon. <laughs> well, well, I'm going to be, the, they're all going to be listening to it. I'm going to be enjoying it. I don't know if the other guys are going to enjoy it, but that's just going to be played a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of good new bands that are out there right now. I ask you, Alexandra, terrific new band. Love and them, they're Jonah, awesome. Love them. Uh, and uh, there's some rock stuff too. I still love Jet. You know, we only have a couple records out. That's a pretty fairly new band right now. Louis the Fourteenth from San Diego, great band. It's real cheap trick esque. Yeah. Oh, cheap trick. I, I know who it was. Louis the Fourteenth. Well, he was the king of England, right? Or France? Yeah. I was the king of. Uh, it used to be Santiago, now it's San Diego. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, you guys have an awesome lineup. How long has this current lineup been together? Jeez, like a month? A month and three hours and 27 minutes. <laughs> Trust me, we're counting it down. <laughs> great, great band, though. With Michael Thomas, of course, playing lead guitar. And we've got this new cat who stole from Marilyn Manson. His name's Lonnie Paul. Terrific. I think he's married. He's got his girlfriend, Carol, over at. And then, uh, and his daughter. <laughs> 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 hey, he'd be yeah, lucky he's only 30, he's 30 years old. He'd still be uh, lucky to be yeah, married to her. We, got a, we have a singer, uh, his name's Patrick Stone. And we still feel he was uh, originally supposed to be the singer to the Foo Fighters. And he's still just time after the day, but he'll sing all the songs. <laughs> so, what bands were you guys in before, you know, the popular ones like Guns N' Roses and Enough's Enough? Well, I was, I was in really, I've been playing with Slash my whole life, so it was really Road Crew, uh, Rose, Hollywood Rose, Guns N' Roses. Oh, we played, I played in London, Nikki Six's old band, London, for a couple weeks. Michael used to play with Pastor Pussycat. I thought I'm like, Michael, I'm like you too. I want to know about you. A band called Degeneration, and then right from that, to Enough's Enough. He just went right downhill from there. <laughs> <laughs> so spoken. Well spoken. <laughs> Do you guys remember the first show you ever played? Oh, yeah. Uh, first show I think was Madam Wong West. Madame Wong's West, or maybe East, in Hollywood. It was a club in the, in the 80s, 70s and 80s called so Madame Wong's. I think that was the first place, with uh, Hollywood Rose. So, what are you guys... So, I did my first show on. I was thinking about with, with Slash and Axel, and this guy named Steve Darrow. But I did my first show performance with, with Axel and Slash. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 
That is crazy. <laughs> so, what is the favorite song you've ever written with this band? With this band? Yeah. Right now is Alive. And I like Star Dog. And I like Fading. And I like the new ones we wrote. I, I'm actually, you know, it's really cool. Is I'm really, I'm loving the songs and, and feeling the songs. Two more just minutes, like I did with the G&R song. Two more minutes. So it, 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 I have that that beautiful memory and that feeling come back of what it's like to be to be writing, you know, great music again with really good players. And especially on our, on our live show, you know, when we, we'll do the G&R songs and then put ours, our, our, in, in between it, we'll do our original ones. And they're just, it, it doesn't skip a beat going for the G&R ones, which are the most powerful rock songs out there. So, you know, put our, our new songs in there and this, the show doesn't skip a beat. You guys find out tonight. Yeah. You'll see. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, so what are your favorite songs that you've been having this band? Well, I grew up in the same era as Steve and listened to a, a plethora of material. Most of it was from yeah. Europe. And my, my old man turned me on to Jimi Hendrix, and then from there was The Who and Led Zeppelin, The Queen, Mountain Google, Sweet. There's so many great bands. That so many fantastic bands over there. And that's where I started getting into, into music. That's what was the first thing that turned my trigger. However, there's a lot of American bands that I think are just as strong. Aerosmith, great. And I gotta say Kiss because they've been around for a long time, a lot of records. Van Halen. Stuff. Yeah, Van Halen, thank you very much. So, it's, I think it's uh, real, very healthy here in the United States. And we both share it. So it's why I always talk about music when you know, right? something comes out, gravitate to that, pick little pieces that we like, and we use them, just recycling it. I, I'm just happy to see that there's a good scene right now, not just with rock, but with metal as well. So, a lot of really strong bands out there. And, uh, there's some of those guys are doing great right now. Uh, just a new band, and young bands that take over. Uh, but they're influenced by Guns N' Roses, for sure. Oh, yeah. All the bands. So. Alright, well, as we have, we got a couple more of these. Any crazy band stories you'd like to share? Yeah. Well, my favorite one, of course, is always uh, is having sex with nine girls with Steven Tyler in the back of the bus. <laughs> and yet, I won't deny it, but I won't admit it if Steven Tyler says it to me too. <laughs> I won't deny it, but I won't admit it. <laughs> yeah, I did my bar gear. Oh, oh, oh yeah, also, May, 5th, May 17th, I'm going to be doing a book signing at Hollywood Soundcheck on Sunset Boulevard, right across the street from, um... The Whiskey. No, yeah, the Whiskey, and right next door to, uh... Viper. Viper, thank you. I've been there before. Okay. Very nice. Okay, so I'll be doing a book signing there. My book comes out in paperback, and you can check us out and watch the tour go on through the next two months. <laughs> I, uh, AdlibsAppetiteOnline.com Thank you guys, really appreciate yeah. it. Thank, thank you for that. Thank you, baby. baby. I want to I want to okay, stab, stab the it. baby. Stab the baby. I'm going to stab Initiation. the baby. Initiation. Of course I'm going to stab it in the heart. Look, well, everybody else stabs it in the heart. No, people haven't really stabbed it. Oh, that's a, that, that's a good stabbing thing. Yeah. Oh, look at my pen is even crooked. Oh, you're going down, baby. <laughs> thank you, baby. I am a baby. <laughs> a big baby. Take the baby back. Well, that was Thank another you. awesome episode of Hattitude Fidelity. See you next time. Bye. Thank you. I'm going to now say that. <laughs> Bye. Bye.